Is your WordPress site fast? Get a detailed report of just how fast your WordPress site is and easy steps you can take to make it faster. Go to WPEngine.com slash speedy for your free speed test. That's WPEngine.com slash speedy. This is Love Your Work. The show will help you dig into your passions and unlock your unique potential. I'm David Academy, and I'm a best-selling author, a bootstrapped entrepreneur, and an award-winning designer. I've built a life and business that's uniquely mine, and I want to help you do the same. So every Thursday, I bring you a new episode of Love Your Work. I bring you one-of-a-kind entrepreneurs and creators who break away from the pack. I dig into their stories and pull out the lessons you can use for your own journey. Learn how you can cut out the noise to focus, how you can transform your weaknesses into strengths, and how you can find the clues that will lead you to your calling. So check out Laura Roeder on episode nine. She turned her freelance gig into two seven-figure businesses, or Manish Sethi on episode 13. He's harnessing his ADD to change behavior for the better. And don't miss Jason Fried on episode one, and former AOL CEO Steve Case on episode 25. I also bring on experts who will help you be more productive, creative, and healthier. So check out neuroscientist John Cunos on episode 8, Ryan Holiday on episode 31, and Dr. Terry Walls on episode 35. This week, I bring you some hard-earned wisdom from my own journey. Back when I was writing my first book, I was shocked how hard it was. I was spending all day just trying to get into that flow state that you, you love so much. So here's one way I found to help me make that flow state happen on demand. This episode is brought to you by Treehouse. Take your career to the next level and learn from over 1,000 videos created by expert teachers on web design, coding, business, and much more. Claim your 14-day free trial at kadavi.net slash treehouse. My desk faces this blank wall because YOLO. Work when you are working, don't work when you're not working. My apartment has a pretty sweet view. I try not to look at it while I'm working. I used to work with a sweet view, like when I had this view, and you can see a picture of my computer with a sweet view behind it. But I don't do that anymore. Instead, I face a blank wall. I once realized that productivity is about mind management, not time management. When I was writing my book, it was 12 hours of banging my head against the wall just to get 15 minutes of flow, writing that came easily. Since then, I've paid close attention to what conditions best get me into that state of flow. First thing in the morning, while I'm still groggy, with earplugs in my ears, facing a blank wall, is when I do my best writing. I bang out a 500-word Medium article within the first hour of my morning. Facing a blank wall for eight hours a day sounds pretty dull, right? Well, I don't do that either. I usually face that wall for about three or four hours a day. In the afternoon, I go to a cafe, often to read, research podcast guests, or brainstorm the trajectory of an interview in my notebook. I usually don't bring my computer. In the afternoon, when my brain is sharp, in a bustling cafe, the Tycho Pandora station in my ears is when I do my best high-level brainstorming. The goal is to do the right kind of work at the right time in the right setting with the right tool. Energy cycles dictate the best time of day to do certain types of work. People with damaged prefrontal cortices have been shown to solve insight problems more readily. Thus, my groggy mornings are best for creative work. The setting of my work can be used as a tool to get my brain in the right state. My discipline is non-existent in the morning, so I have a strict routine and not being tempted to gaze out a window helps me work. The tool with which I work helps my brain focus at the right level. In a notebook, there are no temptations, only my thoughts. Researching on an iPad, it's harder for my brain to rationalize that it will check Facebook for just a second. I even do my more nebulous writing on a keyboard with a shitty LCD screen so there are no distractions. You only live once, So why dilute it trying to be two places at the same time? When I'm working, I create the conditions for that kind of work. When I'm not working, I'm not working. I feel sorry for the people when I go to the rooftop pool of my building, faces glued to their phones while I enjoy the view.
of your work is brought to you in part by Audible, and they'd like to give you a free audiobook. Choose from over 180,000 audiobooks on any subject you can imagine. Just go to caddyvnet slash audible to claim your free audiobook. That article originally appeared on Medium. For more free articles, follow me on Medium at caddyvnet slash medium. And to learn more about creating the conditions for insightful thinking, I strongly recommend you listen to episode 8 with neuroscientist John Cunios. Find out what he's learned in decades of studying the neuroscience of creative thinking. And before I go, I've got to ask, do you like books? If you do, sign up for my book recommendations. About 90% will be nonfiction on subjects spanning from biographies to neuroscience. Just go to cadigan.net slash reading and get the first set of recommendations right away. This has been Love Your Work, and I'm David Cadivy. The theme music for this show is CNU, performed by the Album Leaf, courtesy of Sub Pop Records. Love Your Work is a production of Cadivy, Inc. Cadivy, Inc.